What's up guys, I'm DK Wrestler and today we are gonna go on a Funko Pop hunt. So let's get right to it. And it's been a couple of weeks since I actually went Funko Pop hunting and we're gonna go to a few different stores in my city, starting out with the first store being Walmart. And while you look at that, it's pretty much the same pops I see every time I come to this Walmart location. So we got pops like Claude Giroux and Steve Stamkos for NHL hockey. We got a couple of the Samurai Jack pops like Armored Jack and De Samurai and then also Ashy also, and I guess the Guardian. So it looks like it's the entire set. Besides, I believe Jack has a chase. We got a Taskmaster from the Avengers video game, some TLC, some of the Mandalorian pops, which I believe this Cobb Vamp had a chase. And if I were to assume correctly, yeah, this looks to be the only one, so there is no chase. And then we have some of the Star Wars Valentine's Day pops from, I believe, last year with Ahsoka Tano and the Mandalorian. And I'm not sure... I remember, I think it was Tristan from Top Pop seeing the Target exclusive, I believe it was, uh, like Boba Fett or something like that. There's a Target exclusive, or it was Mando, but just holding Grogu, I believe. And of course, we've got some Black Lightning, Black Adam, more Black Lightning, Wakanda Forever, some Pop Rides from Wakanda Forever, along with a Black Adam on Throne Pop Deluxe. And then we got the same 10-inch pops of Zombie Black Panther and Michelangelo Walmart exclusives that have been sitting here for at least a year now. And then the Run DMC Pop Concert Moments, or it's actually like Pop Deluxe Moments, realistically, but for concerts. And it looks like they reduced the price by, I believe, $10, because I think they were originally $80. Now it's $70, or maybe it was $80 with tax, so... $69.96, yeah, I think that's still the same price. And because I am a wrestling fan, I definitely gotta check out the wrestling figure section. And it looks like for the AEW figures, it's still the same like series like three and four or whatever. But this MJF seems new, like at this location at least. I know it's an older figure. And then over here we have a Dr. Britt Baker Supreme Collection set where it comes with like a background of the entrance and some other pieces to go along with her if you want to switch out for a jacket. So I think that's pretty cool. And then I'm not even gonna really go through this WWE section because it's literally, I think, the exact two figures. All right, so there was nothing really in Walmart, so we're actually gonna go to a store we haven't been to in a while, and that is Value Village. So let's see what's inside of there. All right, so after digging through this little section of toys here at Value Village, I unfortunately have not found anything related to Funko Pops. Yeah, this pop hunt isn't going as well as I thought it was going to so far, but hopefully the next door there is some Funko Pops that we can get. And the next door we're going to be going into is GameStop, so let's see what they got inside. So we are inside of GameStop, and the first thing I noticed is the Rush Exit Stage Left Pop Albums, which is really cool, and too bad already that MD already has this Pop Albums, or else I'd be messaging him saying, hey, Look what's here at GameStop. We got the Ben Kenobi on ELP, which we've seen many of times. And I've noticed right over here is a nice selection of Funko sodas. There's only, I think, three different kinds I see. So there's the John Stewart, which I already have, and actually pulled the Chase. You guys would have actually seen it in the recent uh, Chase Collection Funko Soda video. A Spike Spigel, we got a Larflees, and we have ourselves a couple of the FunCon exclusive She-Hulks that are 10,000 pieces. Might actually pick one of these up because who knows this might be the metallic chase and then i noticed right here the mandalorian black friday mystery box where there was four different pops that you could possibly obtain when getting this and yeah the price is 60 dollars canadian but with the edge card it is 54 dollars so it's not entirely too bad especially because it's a pretty decent mystery box here are a couple of the Savage Opress Red Saber Series Pops, which I do own already, so unfortunately I can't pick that up today. Right here is, I believe it's Pocket Pops and Tea Set, which is pretty cool. You get four of them, and it's only, was it $40 or $36 if you have the Edge card. And a couple of more Pop and Teas, including the Black Light Rescue from Avengers Endgame. And then more of the Pop section here at GameStop, including the WinterCon exclusive spinner, and then there's some Doctor Strange of the Multiverse of Madness. We got some BTS. We got this one, which is just, look at the damage on that one. We got Judo Master from Peacemaker, which is pretty cool. I rarely see Peacemaker pops anymore. We got some My Hero Academia, some Simpsons, more Simpsons. 
And then we, I noticed right over here is this uh, Walt Disney World 50th anniversary, I think it is, uh, Mickey Mouse here where he's got the ice cream cone and the spoon, which I believe this was in a two pack with Jose. And there's nothing on the back, so I can't really confirm that, but there should be a photo up. Izzy Hawthorne Jr. Zap Patrol, which I already do have, or else I'd be picking that up. Also, the GameStop exclusive Harley Quinn with that nice GameStop Canada exclusive sticker, which is really, really awesome. And then more of the pop section here at GameStop right here. All right, so we are out of GameStop, and I didn't get anything at least yet. I might go back in there and possibly get a soda. I'm not exactly sure, but there is one more store that we're going to check out to see if they have anything good. Highly doubt it, but it is Dollarama of all places. And of course, like I expected, we got a bunch of Kingos and nothing else because Eternals was an absolute terrible movie. But non-Funko related, what I notice here is this Flick and Dot like featured favorites set. Let me just, oh, why am I having, there we go. So this featured favorites figure set of Flick and Dot from A Bug's Life. And I wonder what else there is because up here we have like Bing Bong from Inside Out. So this set has Nemo, uh, like Finding Nemo, and we got the Turtles, Monsters Inc. of Mike Wazowski and Celia, and then of course the Bing Bong from Inside Out. So that's some pretty cool stuff that Dollarama is here. And what's the price of this? Five dollars. Not bad for something that'd probably be like 14, 15, maybe even 20 at Walmart. All right, so all I got while Funko Pop hunting were two of these six inch protectors to put on a couple of Yu-Gi-Oh Pops, but I thought I would take the time in this video to discuss my opinions of the recent controversy that has been going on involving Funko. Now, of course, there are the obvious topics that have been discussed, which we will get into, but then there's a couple of brand new couple of news involving the Funko world that I think that should be discussed about also. So of course I will start off with the obvious ones involving the creative team and the social media team pretty much being fired by Funko and how Funko has let off so many of their workers. And then there's something involving Brian Mariotti getting more on his pay, which if you guys want to go more in depth about that situation, definitely check out the, I believe it's three part series so far from the Gassel cast. And then Dr. Applesauce has already done a video on his channel also discussing about this situation too in more depth. And yeah, it is a crappy situation where workers are let go. However, it's happened with a lot of companies. It's not just Funko. And some of those situations kind of just leaves a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth and it makes you think, do I even want to bother keeping on continuing buying products from this company. Unfortunately, people will say that and then they still do. I'm probably still gonna buy Funko Pops. However, you did see in the Funko Pop hunt that I did not buy anything, mainly because there's not a lot of things at the moment that have been appealing to me as of late. It has been very difficult to actually do a lot of Funko Pop hunts for you guys because of the fact that I go to my local stores and they basically either never restock on anything new or they restock on stuff and they have too much of it to the point to where they have to try and sell them at a cheaper price and then even selling at a cheaper price still sitting on the shelves because nobody wants them. And that could be a reasoning behind letting go a lot of these workers is to recuperate some of that lost fund that they could be making but can't because of these Funko Pops and Funko Sodas not selling properly. Another news that I wanted to discuss about is the official confirmation that the company of Pop in a Box is no longer going to be selling Funko Pops. And there was actually a person in a group that I'm in that got a message back from Pop in a Box regarding this entire situation on whether it's true or not. And Pop in a Box replied, hey, you may have noticed a few changes to Pop in a Box and the removal of Funko Funko products from our websites. While we remain fans of Funko, we will no longer be stocking Funko products. However, we do have some very exciting plans for Pop in a Box or PIAB sites that we can't wait to share with you. The PIAB team would like to take this opportunity to thank you for being part of our community. Blue heart emoji. Kind regards, Saul. Wait, is the Saul that I'm thinking of? now works for Pop in a Box? And that's why I fight for you, Albuquerque! Better call Saul. It's all good. Attorney at Law. 505 C A L L. All jokes aside, I think we can all agree, is there really anyone out there that is sad about this news? Because a lot of us have been f***ing 
walked over time and time again from Pop in a Box when you order something from there and they don't add bubble wrap to their products and then your pops become damaged. And then another set of news that I wanted to discuss about is that there is rumors out there that Funko will not have a presence at Emerald City Comic Con, which is weird because Funko was known for having Emerald City Comic Con pops every year. I know the last couple of years have been weird because of the pandemic and especially last year's Emerald City Comic Con being around the same time as SDCC. So obviously they wouldn't have wanted two summer conventions, but now being back in the March time slot for the first time in nearly, I believe, three years now, it's weird that Funko will not have a presence at Emerald City Comic Con, yet there is going to be a 3,000 piece Crusader Ek Pop that is going to be exclusive to Emerald City Comic Con. I think it's mainly because of the whole situation involving them moving their whole warehouse facility, I believe, to Arizona because they're pretty much moving all their employees from Washington to Arizona. Now I think that they're going to have more of a focus near the Funko Hollywood stores considering that obviously Arizona is much closer to California than it is to Washington. So even though I do think that they will keep open the Funko HQ store, I just feel like a lot of the business dealings will no longer happen in Washington and that it will be in the surrounding areas of Arizona and California and especially making WonderCon which is the newer convention that they have done the last couple of years happening at the end of March and it's being so close to Emerald City Comic Con that they might make WonderCon the official new spring convention but anyways guys that's gonna be the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video